Thanks a lot for coming in. Good morning. Happy to be here. Something about this community appeals to you? This is a wonderful place to live. <laughs> for Kelowna Now, this is Kent Molgat. And we're joined by Miles Matilla of the Kelowna Chiefs. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you. We talked to you before about um, this uh, organization, this website that you started out called MindRight. Mm -hmm. and, and now it's got a longer name. Yep, uh, Mind Right for Athlete Society, which and, is a nonprofit. Right, and and the idea is to um, remove some stigma and get a conversation going and help people uh, where there are issues about mental health, in particular in hockey. Am I right? Yes, exactly. Uh, right now, we're just using uh, athletes as a median. I would, I'd love to expand it further, but as being a hockey player right now and being 20, I feel like I can really connect with the audience that are around my age. So. As of right now, we're just focusing on athletes, and um, I think what we're trying to do is not to reinvent the wheel by any means. However, just trying to make use of existing resources and let people know that they're out there and where to find support. Right, and the reason I reached out to you is because you've got this new partnership with an existing group named HeadCheck. Yeah. Now, these people know all about um, concussions and head injuries. And so how do you see this partnership helping your cause? Uh, well, we're in discussion of possibly collaborating together and having a partnership. And we really found that our values were the same and our uh, target demographic of uh, focusing on athletes. Um, I find this partnership could be very beneficial because it's just trying to connect the dots within each community for uh, mental health and concussions and uh, letting people know what type of resources uh, they are out there and try to put it in a, a simple and easy way for them to uh, get more knowledge around these topics. All right, so I just want to circle back a little bit as to how you first uh, started, got going with this. Mm -hmm. There had been things happening, you know, at the NHL level with people like Rick Rippon, mm -hmm. um, uh, um, who ended up taking his own life, right? So there's um, mental health issues there that probably weren't properly dealt with. Mm -hmm. And then you had a buddy, a hockey player, who started to show some mental health issues. You raise it with the coach and then what happens? Um, yeah, um, as you mentioned, I uh, played with an individual that was on my hockey team. A lot of people um, would call us a dynamic duo and really got along. And uh, for uh, one day I just kind of saw him going through a hard time and um, I just kind of asked him the question, how is everything? I noticed like a little change in yourself and um, he just kind of said he had a rough day and just kind of leave him alone and such but um, took it further and saw the following week was getting much worse and um, so I went up to him again asked him what was going on and is everything all right and he said um, like just having a rough week just leave him alone and this is two weeks now and asked him are you sure everything's all right? Because there's some tendencies. He's not carrying the same smile on his face as he usually would. Uh, some of, the t of his teammates started to know what was um, kind of going on by him isolating himself from the team and something was kind of unusual. And uh, I kind of asked him once again, what is going on? And um, he told me that he didn't, he honestly didn't know. Um, he's just been sad for a really long time and doesn't really know who to talk to or how to get help. Um, at that point, I thought it was important um, to try to get him to connect with someone. Um, so I thought by telling the hockey coach was a good idea. And um, unfortunately, the hockey coach kicked him off the hockey team, which was very devastating um, because I just wanted to get my friend some help because he mentioned to me he was going through a hard time. Uh, I didn't really know how to go about it. And I kind of thought I could trust the coach. Um, however, I, I believe he was never, uh, the coach never got put in a situation like that before us and he just, he personally didn't know what to do, didn't have the knowledge and how yeah. to go about um, someone approaching him that has, is, that is in mental distress. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of amazed that you are generous enough to not, you know, just stay really angry with this coach, but instead what you saw it as was something that needs more discussion. People need to know better. Yeah, and that's, that's one thing that, uh, with my goal is not to try and scrutinize the coach, but um, I saw there was an opportunity to raise more awareness around this subject. And if a situation like that happened uh, with myself and my friend, um, there could be other instances around 
uh, a variety of different sports or different situations that someone could be in mental distress and seek out um, additional support and maybe not get the proper guidance or led in the right direction to get, get the help that they need. So I, I, as you mentioned, I saw that as an opportunity to kind of clarify and say we need more knowledge around this topic and let people know that it is okay to talk about mental health and you shouldn't be scrutinized for it. Right, so um, you're lucky to be part of the Kelowna Chiefs, an organization that doesn't just give some thought to issues of mental health, but you have regular mental health nights. And, and we talked to you about this a year and a half ago. Yep. They're still going strong? Yep. Yeah, it's still uh, going very strong. Um, uh, right now, uh, we're going to have our next mental health game uh, coming up pretty quick. Um, I think with that, uh, we even got custom jerseys for mental health, which is a great, great initiative. And there's actually another team within the KIJHL that jumped on board and got some custom jerseys for mental health, which was a Kamloops Storm. And we had a mental health game, game in Kamloops, had a banquet, even had Corey Hirsch uh, come speak and along with myself. And um, to hear Corey's story um, on how his perseverance with mental health and to have the support of the Kamloops Storm jumping on, uh, on board with raising mental health awareness is quite fantastic. And I'd love to see some more teams be a part of it. Right. Because you were saying uh, before this interview that, okay, that's great. You have these mental health nights, other teams doing it too. And yet still, um, you got to keep doing it mm -hmm. because, you know, sometimes people embrace the event and they say all the right things, you know, but did they really take it on board, right? Like, yeah. Um, and that, that's sometimes a long time coming. Yeah, and I think it's trying to continue that conversation that when we have events with like a mental health night and uh, days like Bell Let's Talk, it's important to continue that conversation and let people know that it is okay to talk about mental health and um, if and, and try to find resources that you could lead them in the right direction if you see someone struggling or if you know someone uh, make sure to talk to them actually ask them how your day is going right. and um, and just to make sure that um, if there's resources within your community uh, where to go to or who to talk to I would and it, it seems to me that that's one of the things that the website you started up mm -hmm. is good for because some people still aren't going to feel necessarily like bringing it up with their buddies or even their coach, but they could just go directly to the site. Yeah. Um, start there. Yeah, well, I think uh, with my intentions with like creating an uh, initiative like mindright.info, I think something like that is a platform that they could go to and um, hopefully answer a few questions or have a little bit of guidance on where to go to within e each community. And that's where, I, uh, that's why I think it's pretty fantastic to have a partnership with uh, Head Check Health is because we're trying to implement uh, mental health and concussions and trying to put it in a more uh, sim uh, simple way for individuals to find the, uh, this type of inf information. Right. I think even experts remain, you know, uncertain about exactly what the connection is between head injuries and mental health. But I think it's clear that there is some sort of connection. So that makes, I guess, your collaboration all the better. Yeah, I, uh, I would have to say as being an athlete, um, we're not necessarily saying if you get a concussion that leads directly to uh, mental health or a mental illness. We just want to try to raise more awareness around these uh, subjects and, and to make sure that these tools are out there for individuals. If they do have a concussion, that they could follow a procedure or a protocol on to make sure that they're getting looked after. and. Uh, same with um, my initiative with MindRight. We're not an alternative or a substitute for these mental health resources. We're just trying to shine a light on them and let people know that they, uh, there's great resources out there. Right. And it goes beyond hockey, doesn't it? I mean, I think when you have a mental health night, it's not just to, just to make sure that hockey players feel comfortable talking about this stuff, but everyone who comes to the arena as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, I think there's many times that we even uh, set up a mental health booth and there's individuals that come there um, I would say they're hockey fans, but sometimes they just come out to support because they saw it was a mental health night and uh, possibly they struggled throughout the years and they just want to be in an environment that's welcoming and uh, that they're able to talk to someone if they kind of would like to spark a conversation or something like that. I, I, I think the community support in Cologne is quite fantastic regarding mental health and uh, very fortunate that when we started this initiative two years ago, um, 
that uh, there was with open arms and a lot of people participated with uh, the mental health night and uh, coming to the Kelowna Chiefs games and to raise more awareness for mental health. Right. Well, they've done a great service oh. to many people by doing it, Miles. Thanks for coming in to tell thank us you. about it. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.